Bombshell is an exciting, if fairly standard, sci-fi shooter that stars a gritty ex-military hard-ass sporting a metal arm, prominent cleavage, and an over-the-top dude-bro, or is it dude-sis, attitude that only occasionally tries too hard. It wisely doesn't attempt to be anything more than that, but I wish it would have tried a bit harder at being what it is. While billed as an action RPG, this fast-moving game has much more in common with twin-stick shooters than with Diablo. Movement and shooting feel fluid and responsive. The only thing that doesn't are these scripted execution moves, which freeze the controls, zoom in, and go on long enough to really break up the flow of battle. Actual RPG mechanics are thin on the ground. It wasn't until about 12 hours into the roughly 15-hour campaign that I felt purchasable upgrades were having a real impact, because even on normal difficulty, the enemy's health and damage scaled up faster than my firepower and survivability. Unlocking a new gun felt like much more of a game-changer. From staples like the rocket launcher, shotgun, and flamethrower, to a frighteningly potent death laser, each armament has a tactical niche against certain enemy types and selectable side-grade alt-fire modes that gave me at least a small sense of character customization. Bombshell's environments are a major highlight. Shelly visits three distinct alien worlds that complement the carnage with gorgeous vistas, strong personality, and uncommon attention to detail. The enemies overflow with in-your-face visual elements and stylistic flair, too. My personal favorite is a race of space zombie ice vikings living on a frigid world that managed to be both whimsically bright and menacingly sepulchral at the same time. The weakest links are the boss battles. These guys are very cool looking, but are so bullet spongy they often turn the last part of the fight into tedious plinking away with weak, unlimited use ion shots. It goes on long enough that the protagonist herself actually starts commenting on how long you're taking. Looks like I've been standing here for 15 years. Their mechanics are diverse enough that I didn't feel like I was fighting the same hulking, insane sack of hit points twice, but their AI often ended up getting stuck on the terrain and dying without dignity. All the same, bringing them down was satisfying, especially the crazy bullet hell-esque final baddie. Playtime's over. <laughs> Playtime's just about to begin! For more on Bombshell, stick with IGN.